Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we're going to look at four awesome free game development assets. I'm hoping to do this as a series. If you like the idea, do let me know. Sometimes there are things out there I'd love to cover on the channel, but the topic isn't big enough to justify a five to ten minute video. So what I'm going to do is group all those things together into a video like this. If you do like the idea, again, hit like, subscribe, let me know down below, and if this gets enough views, I will continue to do this. So let's jump in and take a look at our first free asset. For our first free item, we have a set of environment packs for Unreal Engine from Maui. No, this is not Maui. The developer is Maui. That is M-A-W-I. Uh, as you can see, it is a hyper-realistic pack for creating uh, carnivorous forest environments. Uh, you can see an example map in front of you right now. This is for Unreal Engine 5. Uh, normally, these are about, like, $200, $300 a piece, so it is definitely a steal if you are an Unreal Engine developer. So for an idea of what we are dealing with here, let's go to the overview map. Uh, so this is a coniferous forest biome. There is, again, another asset pack in here. Uh, it is a set of very, very realistic building blocks for creating such an environment. So a number of different trees, rocks, stones, plants, grass, debris, cover, uh, got some uh, terrain layers going on here, obviously. So if you're trying to create a realistic uh, forest style environment, this is the one for you. Now, as I mentioned, it's not one. In fact, it is two. So this is the carnivorous one. Uh, there is another pack. So these were announced by Maui United GmbH on Twitter. Uh, the coniferous and broadly forest biomes are now free. I have no idea if this is going to be free forever or free for a limited time. Uh, but as of right now on uh, November the something, 5th or 6th, uh, they are currently free. So this is one of those ones I would add to your uh uh, Unreal Engine pack. Basically, just go on over uh, to said marketplace. Uh, you'll see under Maui, they've got a ton of assets, by the way. So if you like their style and you want to match to other environments, they do obviously have more in the works. But the two free ones here are the Broadleaf Forest Biome and then the Conif Conifer Forest Biome. This is the one we saw in action. They're obviously very similar, just different kinds of trees, different kinds of moss on the ground, and so on. Uh, definitely something worth picking up, because as you can see here from their other assets, they range between the other forest packs tend to be about 300 bucks. Uh, so uh, you're definitely saving a decent amount of money here. Now, interestingly enough, when I did the... Uh, collaboration with Unreal Engine. This is one of the packs that was highly requested. So it's a good thing that one didn't show up because you can now get both of these packs completely free. Next up, we have Pixella.ai. This is from Sam Garcia, who I had the pleasure of meeting uh, just a couple days back at Unite. Uh, this is a tool for basically creating artificial intelligence generated textures. This is using the stable diffusion algorithm. And the nice thing here is you don't have to do any work. On top of that, uh, what you'll find is a lot of these textures are seamless. What exactly does seamless mean? Well, that means they are without seams. I'm going to use just the preview version of this texture right here. So I'll just copy it in. It's 512 by 500. 112 pixels. I will go into my photo editor and boom. All right, so here it is, our initial texture. Now what I'm going to do is resize this so that it is four times bigger. So in all directions like so, we will resize it accordingly. And now if you take said texture and you copy it and you paste it, what you'll notice is there are no seams. Copy and paste. Let's go into another direction here. Copy and paste, and let's go into another direction here. What you'll notice is, other than the fact that I've generated a seam here, you have no seams between these. This means you can tile the textures and use them on uh, 3D models. So if you need to have a rock environment, boom, you are off to the races. So uh, basically, Pixella is a, a place where you can find a number of textures generated. Uh, you can download them directly from here. Uh, you can click into them for more detail. Another cool thing about them over here is you will see uh, the seed that was actually used to generate these. One of the challenges when you're working with these tools like Stable Diffusion is it takes a lot of iterations to get something you actually like. Well, this tool actually makes it easy for you because quite frankly, uh, they've done all of the work for you, which is quite nice. Of course, you also have the ability to come in here and save. So let's say I needed grass textures. I could come in here and say, all right, show me the grass textures. And then I get a number of different options in there. Again, generally they are seamless. So you'll see again, this one matches to this one over here. So you can tile them like I just showed you in action. Uh, and again, let's do another search here for say rocks. 
and then boom you're going to get a number of rock textures here as well so if you need to get textures uh, that are AI generated instead of actually having to do the trial and error work yourself you can come to pixella uh, AI and actually let them do the work for you at the same time if you have generated something you like you can upload it right here do be sure to check the terms and privacy policy on it because obviously what you are uploading is being redistributed to other people uh, also you can just come in here and click and see randomly other generated textures that have been created and shared so if you need bark or like um I don't know, nightmare fuel bananas, uh, various different other textures here. You're going to find that AI generated images are perfect for texture generation. And this is basically a curated library of them. Once again, from Sam Garcia, if you want to learn more about her, uh, she is a fellow game dev YouTuber. Do go ahead and check her out. Our next freebie revolves around the default game engine. This is more of a news post than a free asset, but you're going to see in a second, it totally makes sense. So if you've never checked out the fold before, uh, it is a completely free, mostly 2D game engine source available, not technically open source. I'm actually a big fan of the fold. I've done a couple of videos and tutorials upon it in the past, and I highly recommend you go ahead and check out the fold. But the reason why we are talking about it today and the new freebie in it is they just announced that the Nintendo Switch access is now free. So previously you had to pay uh, for a subscription subscription to be able to publish to the Nintendo Switch. Now that actual aspect of the default game engine is completely free. Well, almost completely free. So uh, full source code access to the Nintendo Switch specific core of the default engine will still be only available as a paid membership, but that is not necessary to release games uh, made with the fold on the Nintendo eShop. So if you want to create games with the fold, publish them to the Nintendo eShop, that is now completely free except for source code access. Now, of course, you still need to be an approved Nintendo Switch developer. So this isn't going to magically give you the ability to create Switch games. You still need to be part of the uh, Nintendo development program. And I've heard that getting into it can be a little bit on the tricky side. Uh, but once you're in, if you are or you're already in, you've created a default game, you want to publish it to the Switch, you can do that completely free now, unless, of course, you need to have source code access. So that is definitely a cool new development. Finally, we have a free one for the Godot developers among us, and this is probably the most useful, amazing, and awesome plugin ever created, and I don't know how I lived without it. Writing code in Godot can be a little bit on the boring side. So let's say I want to go ahead here and type some code. Yeah, this isn't really that fun. So let's, uh, let's jack it up to 11. So what you do is go in Project, Project Settings. I've added this into my add-ons folder. It's called Ridiculous Coding. We go ahead and enable it. And then we close it. And then what I'm going to do is a quick restart of our project. So reload current project. That does seem to be a requirement, by the way. And now you're going to see coding is such a much more pleasant feature. So let's go ahead, self dot boom. So as we are doing it, uh, get parent, you get sound effects, you get, uh, effects uh, text pixel effects as you are typing it is just a cool little tool and as you notice down here you actually are also getting achievements as we type so yeah and then I delete boom, 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 boom. and there boom we just made it to the next level we have a little celebration going on down there as well really cool stuff it's yeah it's completely and utterly stupid but if you want to add uh, particle effects and sprite effects and sound effects while you are coding well that is exactly what Ridiculous Coding does. So again, just go to the archive. I'll show you where to grab it in a second. Go to Add-ons, just drop it into your Add-ons folder and then enable it. So Project, Settings, go into the plugins and add it in right there. And as you saw, I had to do a quick reset of my project to get it to start working. Uh, at the same time, there does seem to be a small bug in it where your code, the, uh, the effect may not line up with your actual code. In order to fix that one, all you do is go into the editor session of, um, sorry, editor sections of interface, and make sure that you have set a code font right here. So once that is set, uh, it will work just fine. So one of those things just to be aware of with this particular plugin, if you want to grab it, it works with Godot 3.x. Basically, just clone it from here again, and then just drop the add-ons, Ridiculous Coding, into your current project, enable it, and you are off to the races. A really fun one. Uh, ridiculous Coding just basically adds special effects to your code editor. It also gets really distracting really fast. So if you're working in an environment with other people, maybe this one isn't the best one to get. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is our free stuff. Again, if you want to see more of these in the future, do let me know by watching, liking, subscribing, and all that stuff, and I will keep putting them out. So that is uh, four great free game dev assets. Let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.